So your underlying energy is the Seven of Wands. So it's definitely different from Taurus's reading. They had the Nine of Wands there, but still defensive, protective of something. The Two of Swords, perhaps a decision that you made, a difficult decision that you made. Um, definitely, or it could be keeping the balance. The reason why you're protective is because you're not ready to make a decision yet. Uh oh, but. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look, see here what's going on. <sighs> Defensive energy, right? Like I said, def you guys are protective of something. Something's really, um, gotten you guys on guard. Okay? You guys are defensive, but you have the advantage too, right? The Seven of Wands is standing on a hill while the two, uh, while the, all the other wands are trying to knock them down. You have the opportunity to do anything that you want to do at this position instead of defending yourself like this, right? Nobody can touch you. That's the one I'm saying. Like, you're protecting yourself against people that don't matter, against things that don't matter. Because you can't be touched here, right? You could decide to just walk off and say, yeah, okay, whatever. You're not on my level, literally. And I feel like... Um if you guys hear some stuff, it's because I'm scratching. And I also, the you know, how I'm doing these audios now with the audio thing... How I do, how I'm doing the videos with the audio now is with my gaming headset. I'm a gamer, so I go like, you know what? Let me just see if it works. It works. Okay. So yeah, just wanted to let you know. So if that you heard some weird stuff and it was loud for seconds. I do apologize. I just had to scratch my ear. My ear was itchy. But the seven of wands coming up is like you, people can't touch you, y'all. Okay. You know you're royalty, but don't fall down to their level. You don't need to be down to that level where you're defending yourself and fight people off. But the fact that you're defensive is a red flag to me. And we're gonna go into exactly what's going on. Now in the heart of your reading you have the three of wands, so there is the okay. So <clears throat> This is about what you what to expect. But you've been putting in the work, perhaps you've been doing some things, but you're also waiting, right? This is still the card of waiting. So you could be doing a million and one things, but you're still waiting on something. Um, the challenge is being patient, perhaps, or knowing what to expect when it comes up. Um, and what's crossing that is the five of wands. Conflict. So there's conf there's conflict in regards to what you expect to return to you. Like I don't know if you really know what to expect when that card comes up. I feel like there's a lot of changes and anything goes with that change. But I feel like all in all is like whatever you've been changing. Scratching my ear again. Sorry, y'all. Whatever you've been changing, guys. It's whatever you've been changing about yourself. You're not sure if you can expect what's to come. Because maybe you've been doing some things differently in your process of putting things out there. Right? As far as putting your manifestation out there. Um, you guys could be also expecting arguments or conflict or some sort of turmoil, inner turmoil, um, based off of the returns that you get because you may have changed in that time frame. Now, in the past, you have the eight, excuse me, not the eight, you have the three of pentacles. All right, so the three of pentacles talks about planning for the future. Plan, it can be it can indicate planning for the future with friends or family. Excuse me, not friends or family, but with somebody you know, somebody that you can trust to build a future with. You know, someone that you are trying to build a future with. Period. Um, teaming up with somebody, hashing out details. Um, you know, working out practical planning. You know, but this is also can indicate uh, seeing a future with someone altogether. Seeing if there is even a possibility of their things of their of things being able to work out with this um with the eight of excuse me with the three of pentacles there um and i feel like for a lot of you guys you are you know you guys are definitely you know making some strides um at stuff right trying to kind of get a better idea of what's what you can expect from the future and now you have the knight of swords somebody has been very defensive well it's been been very aggressive to say the least you have the Five of Wands and then the Knight of Cups. And it's because somebody is very focused on what they feel, uh, what they want, first and foremost. And I feel like, I don't know if this is like conflict in regards to somebody's changed their mind. Somebody may have changed how they feel and somebody's trying to fight against that change. Because that's what it kind of looks like. Somebody's like coming in. I got a cup of love. Or maybe this person that you were planning for, planning the future with, right? He's like, hey, okay, I can see a future with you. You know, you show pretty consistent stuff or whatever, right? Because I feel like Pentacles to me is more consistent. And, you know, it's, you know, it's reliable in that regard of being realistic, you know, being real, you know, something you can see. But 
with the Knight of Cups, somebody may came in, changed their mind, and now somebody's upset because somebody changed their mind about how things are, are going to be going. So now you're confused whether something's going to be working out the way that you planned it, even though you've been working your ass off. So you've been bu busting your behind, fighting for something, and now you're in the you find yourself defending, or you know defending or fighting, you know yeah, obviously defending a certain certain plan that you had in the very beginning when you either you your your emotions have changed about it typically or maybe somebody's like come in and change their mind about how the whole thing's going to run right so ultimately i think the person i don't think this is necessarily a person i do think that usually when sometimes when the night of cups comes up in the external energy here i do get the feeling that this is somebody new somebody different Maybe this is an old lover that comes up, comes back. Maybe you're trying to see if there was some something that you got going on with someone else, and then an ex came back, and now you're kind of trying to figure out whether or not this is something you really want to continue to pursue or not. Some of you guys, you may be seeing a Gemini, and it, you know you may be on the fence now. Like, okay, do I go go with the Gemini, go with the go with my ex, or go with a lover, you know, a friend that wants to become more. You could have a, like a third party situation on accident where you're not intending to, you weren't playing with nobody, but they just returned. Right? And now you're trying to like defend the relationship that you got here, but you don't know if you're 100% in. Or this could be indicating here that like, right, with this Knight of Cups is that ultimately you have changed your mind about how you want to continue, how you want to move forward in this relationship or where you want to get to or what you, what you're, you know, what you're dreaming of, what you want. And that's okay. Maybe you end up having to, to defend that. But, or the thing is, it's like, maybe you're, it almost looks like you kind of have a split thing going on here. Maybe, like, for some of you guys, you may be, like, staunch on the old path, but you're old, the, something in you is saying, no, I don't really want that. And you're like, ugh, go with it. This is something we, you know, this is something we planned for. This is something we hashed out, and you're like, I don't feel it, though. You know? And it's like that hard thing to let somebody in, like to let somebody know that, hey, I don't want to do this no more or not. But I feel like, I feel like this is somebody else. I feel like somebody came in, changed their mind and you're like, hell no. What about what we just planned? What about everything we went through? So yeah, there could be conflicts about what to expect now because there's just a lot of, you know, holding on to old stuff, old stuff but somebody has gotten new emotions to this and i feel like it's either both of you and you're just finding it because of course this is something you've you know you stood on and you worked hard for or you know uh, you know or you know this is truly something that you want to do but the higher front is in the future so you end up something i do see you end up can you know committing to something committing to either the change either the person or the relationship to all together because let's be real we never got to a place of stability here right we go from three to nine of swords to three you know to to five and then all these nights which talks about progress things are moving forward definitely skipping and stuff but we are not getting to a place where it's stable and we have you know that's where the, the stability comes in in the future why because we're still going through some conflict we're still going through this you know this change the shift is just a readjusting period and i feel like this is a good time to do it because if you guys got to a stable place and somebody like decided to do something else there would be hell of consequences to pay right they'd be like damn it man what we just did but you, I think this is really trying to figure out and really set the set the standards for a stable foundation, because you're coming and being authentic with one another. But I think somebody's being very adamant about how things are going to go. But you may be saying something different. Maybe you're, you know, adamant about changing things. Maybe you're like, I don't know if I can't. I don't really want to do that. I don't really want to get married at this this soon. Let's change that up. Let's get let's get married you know next year or let's not get married at all until we know exactly what we're trying to do with our own lives right either way you have the hermit here there is a new there's a new normal i think there's a new normal that's going to be put into place a new standard new routine a new you know thing to kind of that both of you can agree on but it starts by resolving this conflict about what one wants right about how one feels and being and let's be real like whether or not this person wants to compromise or not right because you do have the five of swords in your outcome we're going to get to that in a moment but the whole matter fact the matter is this one person is more adamant it's very adamant and so is the other person so it's like who gives who's who who sacrifices 
You know, the Knight of Swords, he don't hear the other side at all. He don't give a he don't give a flying F. And it's because he feels something for what it is that he's fighting for. Right? Typically, it's just that he believes in what he's saying is the truth. But because but the reason why he thinks it's the truth is backed up with the external energy here with the Knight of Cups is because there's emotions, there's something emotionally involving this. Somebody may be fighting for a person, fighting for somebody, but, you know, gets getting somebody back. Or you could, you know, you could be that, right? You could be doing that. But all in all, it's like the conflict is, you know, what you believe is true versus what it is that you feel. What do you, like, what do you desire the most? And with the higher friend in the future, it does level out. It will stabilize, but it's a five too, right? It's, it's, an, it's another five as well. So that's changing the patterns in, in the routines in which you, you, you structure your life so you can go towards that goal. So you could go towards whatever you decide to go towards, whether, whatever, whether it is the thing that you're fighting on, fighting it for, or the thing that you feel the most led towards. It could be the very same thing, but there is a conflict here between the two. And I don't, I can't get too specific with this because again, this is for, you know, this is for people on YouTube. But the thing is, is that there is a conflict between what someone wants and what somebody, you know, is, you know, believes to be their truth, right? And it's, it comes from a very similar place, but someone's very adamant about sticking to a certain way or doing certain, doing something a certain way. And somebody's more adamant about following their heart and being in the moment and how they feel. Now, with the your goal aim ambition is the seven of pentacles, and I do feel like you guys want to see what your work has been showing up for. Like, I think you guys have been really busting your ass, and that's what I think that's probably why there's this knight of swords here. It could be you guys, right? Feeling like, okay, well, I want to see the results of the work that I've been putting in because I have been busting my ass. I have been doing the work and necessary. I've been really invested in the things and whatever this is, right? And whatever this is, a relationship, a career, what have you. You've been invested in it. Now, for some of you guys, it may not be that you want to see your your stuff come, you know, turn out. But it's more like, you know, you're you're actually you you're recognizing how much you've been working hard at stuff. You've been really working hard at stuff, and I feel like you're ready for the next step. You know that the next step has to, you know, has you know what the next step consists of. It's just that patience period, which is what may be being asked of you at this time. You may have to kind of wait on something, um, maybe wait on somebody's decision, or maybe wait on your on you making a decision, right? I feel like you just you're not sure if it's worth you know worth continuing to put all the effort in. It's but of course, right? It's really not until you know what you're doing, and I feel like with the seven of pentacles here. It's not that you're upset with that being where you want to be, or being you know being at that you know at the desired area or place in your life but it's more of like you're ready for the next steps but you're still kind of you know you're having to wait on something to continue to blossom there's still work that needs to be done in the meantime but you're waiting on something but it's like this is the grooming period this is the, the you know the shedding you know, the cutting of weeds and everything like that or stray branches that could snag and you know cause the the bush harm this is a cleanup period Right, the the trimming, the, the you know the sprucing up, right? And I feel like seeing that as that is how you're going to get through the situation, how you re how you focus on what the tasks at hand, because you're still doing something about your future. You just may be trimming the fat off or tr you know cutting away at unnecessary, um, an an uh, unusable unnecessary areas that you or something like that, right? So you're doing something, but it just feels like it looks like to me that you guys do want to make the next steps. You want to go on forward, but everything is kind of like at a standstill. It feels like because you're working, you're looking at the, you know, you're looking a little closely at the details, um, at what needs to be done, what needs to change, what needs to be fixed, or what what you need to do to kind of get to the next level. Now, with your outcome, you have the Five of Swords. And the Five of Swords does indicate that, you know, somebody either compromises or severs a relationship. Or not this, excuse me, not sever a relationship, um, chooses their self. Right? They choose themselves. 
And what I mean that what I mean by choosing themselves is that they they don't compromise their dreams. They don't compromise their truth. Somebody ends up being that Knight of Swords all the way through instead of compromising. <clears throat> now, some like I said, somebody's super adamant about a certain a certain thing. Somebody's not necessarily, maybe somebody else has a different feeling on it, a different take, or somebody's just very much focused on what they are in their emotions and don't really care about how the thing flows, how the thing goes. And I feel like I feel like what the Five of Swords is saying is that when the Five of Swords comes a period, it's like always like a caution card. Like, hey, be careful, right? Whatever you decide to do right now, it can and potentially will sac end up cutting something off in between. Right? So, and, and as a difference, like you, you're giving something up when you do that. Okay? Something's being sacrificed. You always sacrifice something with the Five of Swords. And I say that because there's something that you may end up giving up. Either way, either way, you can't leave this Five of Swords energy without giving something up. And I feel like it's saying that to be careful, right? Of course, you matter, your dreams matter, but it's it's about letting. Is it do you let your ego or your your dreams, your 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 morals trump your the relationships that you have with someone? Is there really no way to meet down in the middle of a situation? And I feel like Leo's is like, I don't know if this other person's mad at it or is you, but I get this feeling that somebody's willing to 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 divvy up, you know, to to sacrifice, you know, to, or to compromise. Someone's willing to compromise because they love the person more than they love the goal itself, you know, love a certain approach to certain some things. So they so the relationship may. You know, there may be, you know, somebody that's willing to compromise or, you know, maybe you may you be the bigger man to compromise either way, you know, or you, nobody compromises. But the point of it all is, how do you move forward when no one wants to work together? Because at the beginning, in the past, right, you were definitely seeing some working together quality. And now you don't know how to even move forward or uh, what the, you know, where to, what to expect because nobody's working together anymore. Now, this, now everybody's working against each other or everybody's fighting each other. So who do you commit to? Your truth, yourself, or do you commit to the relationship? And that's a hard one to decide because this is something that's neither wrong or right, right? You can't make, you know, this is not a decision that I can make for you. This is not a decision anyone can make for you because you have to live with that consequence. You have to live with those decisions that you make. So which decision do you want to live with? So it says time to ground, 40, 45. It's talking about stabilizing and being, you know, yeah, the, four, the seven of wands in a way. Grounding yourself, you know, uh, standing your ground, standing your ground, you know, you know, it's, it's saying, I feel like what it's saying is, is the five of swords here, you know, being solid in your truth, being solid in yourself though, knowing that, you know, nothing could shake you down. Nothing can, nothing could break you down whatsoever. Okay. And being strong during a difficult time being the being the hard the hard place in a time of of wonky energy for you because right now this is a great deal of change but you have to kind of you know be in touch with yourself as you go through that so you guys have tick tock which talks about timelessness there's no time like the present that things happen in due time there's no need to rush Right, if, especially if somebody's trying to hurry the process. No, that the, the, that's the thing, right? If somebody's trying to make something happen faster than it needs to happen, or faster than it than it feels right to you, then that's the thing too. Then it's like, fuck it, you can't. Ha no, chill out. <laughs> you know, slow down, slow down a second. So that's what TikTok talks about. Slow down for a moment. Take it easy. Take a breath for a moment, because you're trying to make something happen sooner than maybe it's meant to. Everything will happen when it's meant to happen, and you'll know when it's time. And if the other person, especially if you, and if this is you guys, just be like, I don't want to do this. I don't really want to, because I feel like that's what it is. Like some of you guys may not be feeling it that soon. Like you guys may not be feeling like um, ready to kind of take off and run with the run like the Knight of Swords is. Like you, I, that Seven of Wands came up for a reason. You're not moving fast with that Seven of Wands. You're actually maintaining with that Seven of Wands. So. 
it's almost like you guys are like defensive about that that sort of approach because you like the leisurely being in the moment going by day by day you know exploring your feelings for you know you and your partner or whatever you know you like that day by day but you don't want to just kind of jump to the next level before you understand how you feel before you kind of get a glimpse of what's going on about how you guys work together and it's like it's not i don't think it's a personal thing really it's more of just how what 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 is the intentions of it of everybody like everybody's intentions seem to be a little off and i don't think it's the core s's of somebody it's i mean even though the five of swords will show someone's true colors i do feel like it's more of like where is everybody's intentions at why are you trying to get to xyz and it's not that person that's ugly or it has an ugly personality it's just that everybody's intentions are different why they're why they're different that's the thing that we have to understand. We have to at least try to understand. And that's where that five of wands is coming up, right? It's like, yeah, we got to figure out what is everybody's coming from. What's everybody's intentions? What is your intentions? What are you trying to do? Right? But it's time to ground saying, you know, just stabilize. And TikTok is saying, take your time with it. Don't worry about the time thing because it's not going, it's, it's, it don't matter. Right now, what matters is you building something that makes you, f like, that stands the test of time. Versus you actually racing against the clock to make it. Because that's not going to make it last forever. Moving too fast is more of, you know, quantity over quality. And I feel like the thing is the same. Time to refine. Let's, do, let's focus on quality. Let's focus, because that's what you want. Like, if you want your dream to be the best dream ever, you have to focus on it rather than how long it's going to take. So that's probably why the Seven of Pentacles is here too, because there is a waiting period. There is some patience that's needed. The seven, the three of three of Wands, and the seven of Seven of Pentacles, very similar in their energies because they both have a lot to do with waiting. That's the kind of only thing that really makes them similar. And I feel like if you got, you know, if somebody's being really impatient with you, you know, you got to do what you got to do. But the thing is, is that. There's not much you could do to force somebody to do anything. And I don't think you should ever force anybody to do anything. Because you wouldn't want to do that to, you know, you wouldn't want to be forced to do anything, right? But most importantly, is that, you know, if it does take, if it does need a little more time to kind of keep going, you know, if it needs a little bit more time to stabilize, to be real, why, why not just focus on what you need to do in the meantime, as you go through that process of making whatever needs the extra time.